Hello everybody, so I just want to remind you guys that I made two videos about my heaven testimony. The second video was almost 10 minutes long. The first video was about 6 minutes 30 seconds long, I'm going to have to check that out. Um, so anyway guys, I mean check out the time. So um, I haven't uploaded the videos on my YouTube channel yet, but I will after this. And also I just want to add this, if you have a testimony, get it out there, whether it's about heaven, whether it's about hell. Whether it's about God, whether it's about the devil, whether it's about angels, whether it's about demons, good or evil, whatever. Get the testimony out there because everybody has to hear this. Because heaven and hell is real. God is real. The devil is real. Demons are real. Angels are real. Good is real. Evil is real. Sin is real. And whether you like it or not, Christians, there's all these lukewarm Christians out there preaching prosperity gospel they're not supposed to be doing. It's a sin, and it's an abomination unto the Lord, because the Lord says all the sin is an abomination. Not the sinner, the sin. What you practice, what you teach, you reap what you sow. Pastors, Joel Olstein, Kenneth Copeland, Jesse Duplantis, Creflo Dollar, all these false preachers out there, Muslims, all these guys out there. You pre I say Muslims because there's Muslims out there preaching these fake gospels and nonsense that they're not supposed to be doing, that they invented. God did not invent prosperity gospel. And if you say that, you're lying. Because God said, there's only, God said that his word is forever. That means God said that whatever he says goes. You can't change that. I had a conversation at work the other day about the Bible. I believe it was yesterday. No, Thursday. And so I was talking to a customer at work, and they were saying that <clears throat> this would be a commandment. And I said, because we were talking about marriage, because he's married, and I'm not married. I'm still single, ladies, they're saying. And ladies, if you want to get with me, subscribe to the channel, check out the content, I'll give you a shout-out in the next video. It's up to you. That's why my channel is called Mr. Shout-Out, because I'm willing to give you a shout-out. And you give your channel subscribers and views if you want it. If you don't want it, I'm not going to give you a shout-out. So anyway... He was talking about the Ten Commandments, and I mentioned Thursday, this is May 16th. He said, I said, thou shalt not get married. He was laughing about it because I was being sarcastic. But he he started the conversation. I was just adding to it. And one of the co-workers I work with, he, I'm not going to mention a name, but he was saying that. I was talking about you can't change the Bible because the Bible cannot be changed. And they were saying... Well, no, it's not to change it. It's just to add some stuff to it, obviously. That's what he said. The co-workers I work with. Not the customer, but, you know. The customer was looking at him like, okay. But either way, you cannot change the Bible. The whole point of that conversation was you cannot... I was right. Whether you guys agree or disagree, type in the comments if you agree or disagree, that nobody can change the Bible. Nobody. Doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what language you speak, what your religion is, or whether you believe in Christ or not, if you try to attempt to change the Word of God, then you're trying to change what He made, what He wrote. And you can't do that. God's Word is for eternity. And you, God is eternal. There's nothing you can do about that. The Ten Commandments will always stay the same, and they'll be the same. Thou shalt not have no other gods before Him. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not fornicate. Honor your mother and father. Thou shalt not covenant. Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. Thou shalt not commit false accusations against thy neighbor. You know? There's a lot more to it than that. But, <clears throat> also, that fornication, by the way, is when you have sex before marriage. Because God made sex, sex and marriage are two different things. But, I'm going to talk about that in another video. But, I'm saying it's two different things. They're not the same thing. But they can become one if you're married with somebody and your spouse, you become one with them. That means sex and marriage can be one. That's how God made it. You can't change what he made. Think about that. 